pronounce it differently. So maybe during the break, I'll, I'll verify that. In the meantime, a repetition with knight d4, knight f3, and a good hold there by Nihal. Yeah, that, that can't be underestimated. Um, that position did look uncomfortable, but he's taken off B openings against Wesley, and it made them work. It's impressive. Indeed, and a London system here, very fashionable line with knight h5. And well, it's funny, a car it's fashionable, like, but it's actually his. Like that, that move is Wesley's. He was the first knight h5. Yeah, yeah. That, isn't that awesome? You get to, you know, it's like a, a celebrity wearing something, and that clothing brand becomes fashionable. It's the same. Wesley plays something. Guess what? Everybody's on chess base the next day. What did Wesley play here? Let me investigate yeah. that. Before you know it, thirty games in the database. Oh, for sure, for sure. I because I played the. London on a lot of my tournament games that I had to spend so much time checking this damn knight h5 move thanks to Wesley. I know. And this is a very uh, positionally complex structure. There's a lot going on. There's a little asymmetry here in the center. And Nihal Castle short. And it's hard to say, you know, I think this is this is about equal. I don't even know what Black's main plan is. I've seen people go f6, e5 in these positions. Right. Okay. <laughs> Such as Wesley in this yeah. game. I've, I've seen Wesley do it as well. <laughs> right. Knight f5 can also be played at the proper moment, such as now. I've seen Wesley do it before, yeah. And I've seen Nihal with bishop f4 might walk into e5. I'm trying to frantically predict his move. Maybe bishop f3. That stops e5. That makes sense to me. I've seen Nihal play bishop f3 before. Yeah. I don't I've know seen when him or think, where. Uh, about bishop f4, but play bishop f3 before. Right. Come on, Nihal, go bishop f3. Make us look good. Apply. I feel like bishop the players f3. never have that on their minds for some reason. No. Playing. <laughs> I don't Just... know why. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there we go. Another good one. Wesley might Black go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Knight takes the bridge. That's what I was going to say. Uh, of course, yeah. Right, right. You just sort sipping water now i would be seriously considering piling on this e-pawn queen e2 rookie one or even queen f1 rookie one and maybe queen h3 i feel like that's a kind of move in nihal style queen b3 that's what i meant same thing <laughs> that's <laughs> that very sty stylistic move there classic but an exchange sack on e6 cannot be ruled out which is why wesley goes rookie eight yeah that would actually be a lot of fun for white to play and, and he's now going hey bishop g2 I have my other knight on d2 that might want to appear on f3, clamping the e5 square, and also h4, bishop h3 for white. You target that e6 pawn a different way, and also tickle h5 just to loosen up that king. Yeah, just a little massage going on. Nihal just uh, massaging some of these some of these pawns, e6, d5, probing for weaknesses. Mm -hmm. I think you were the one who got that word in my purview, probing. Poking yes. and prodding and maybe not attacking directly, but trying to provoke more weaknesses. Exactly. Um, for Black, I think that, you know, he definitely wants to take this A8 rook, bring it over uh, into the middle of the board. It's not nice to be on that diagonal where the bishop on g2 is, is eyeballing it. Um, but for me, this knight on c6, it probably needs to do, do something. It just doesn't look like e5 is happening anytime soon. So mm -hmm. I'd like to see that knight, I mean, almost knight d8, knight f7 is kind of on my radar for a potential square, but... Can't do that just yet. Say that again, knight d8, knight f7? Yeah, you can't quite play knight d8 right play now. Bishop but... takes d5. Exactly. So I sort of want to play rook e8, and then maybe knight d8, knight f7, and sort of try to get e5 that way with bishop c6. Right. And Wesley's time management is, is always excellent in classical chess as well. He's up a minute on the clock. And so far, time pressure hasn't been the defining factor for either of them. Mm hmm Let's see if that changes as we hit the home stretch here of the five-minute segment. You know, probably contemplating moves like F4, H4, lots of ways that White can go about adding pressure. Definitely. Slightly concerned about his clock, though, as he's dipping close to two minutes. Yeah, another interesting thing that White can sometimes do is go F4 uh, followed by 95, and he's like, ha-ha, you can't take me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because the bishop is going to be trapped. Nihal instead rerouting his knight to e3. And potentially maybe he'll go back to d2 and try to go knight g4, queen h6. Yeah, I think knight on e3 is 
always a tremendous piece in the structure. You feel like mm -hmm. you're preventing e5 just for the rest of the game, um, pretty much when you have that knight there. So uh, Wesley totally is so alert. So yeah. alert, getting his knight to c4. You mentioned it, Amon. Now the knight's doing something. It's contesting its counterpart on e3. And with only one knight on the board, white might have a hard time chiseling uh, into black's position, further attacking the weaknesses. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for h4. I've been waiting for this move for a while. I think I prefer h4 to f4 because e5 still looks like it's not happening. And just the idea of h5 and bishop h3 both look like that's uh, worth it to just play h4. Plus, you don't have to do either of those. Right. It's just a good move to gain space. No, for sure. But queen c1 could also be considered bishop f3. Definitely eyeing h4. I agree with you. Although, Wesley could reinforce the knight with a move b5. That would weaken the c5 square, but that's why you have a dark sword bishop. So maybe take e3 here as black and go bishop c6 and say e4, e5 is next. Absolutely. I mean, that is, after all, Black's main idea of the whole line. And despite one, two, three pieces aiming at the E5 square, Black's got one, two, three, four pieces <laughs> aimed at that square. How about them apples? That's right. Yeah, I think this game really revolves around that, that whole plan. Like Bishop C6 first. Very interesting. Uh, giving me all the opportunity to trade, but... This is look. This would be very, very dubious. And if Bishop takes C6, ah, maybe this is fine for White. Takes, takes, takes. Looks like White's losing the Bishop, but no. Queen A4. That's amazing. Holds things together. So maybe it's worth taking on C4. Yeah, I think that line is critical. I'm not sure Wesley saw that whole thing out because you could have just gone Knight E3 and then Bishop C6, mm -hmm. but he's clearly inviting that because. Uh, oh, doesn't do it. Okay. Yeah, and I think Nihal, in retrospect, I mean, he he played bishop f3 two moves ago. I think he was focused on going h4, but now he realizes that e5 is a very serious problem, and he tries to bring his pieces back, and there it is. Yeah. And now Wesley's definitely in the driver's seat. Big time advantage, and I would say a slightly better position now. Yeah, and the pawn definitely wants to go probably to e4 rather than d4, just in between the two pawns, if you're going to push right. one, it's probably e4. Um, the knight on d3 is not great, and, you know, b4, f4, all those potential jump squares for the knight are all covered by the bishop on d6. Yeah, that bishop, just like uh, that bishop on e3 in the previous game, defending key diagonals, and Wesley Ooh. definitely thinking about e4. You could just sense the wheels turning. Should I make an improving move? Should I strike with e4? He goes for the former, keeping the tension. Bleeding more time off of Nihal's clock. I think this move is actually so genius. So if you put the move e4 on the board instead of a5, then knight b4, bishop takes queen d4 check. I don't ah. think he liked that. So he just foresaw the you know where the knight would want to go. And um, this is just, I think it's just a great move to prepare e4. It is an excellent move. And and Nihal sensing that his knight is integral to the defense, dropping move back, dropping it back to c1. And I would be contemplating an exchange tag here. You could take on d5. And if rook d2, then you have to reckon with ideas like d4 and bishop b4. Ooh. With 30 seconds on the clock, this is going to be so hard to handle. Rook c2 is... <laughs> yeah, that's the move where it's like, yeah, I'm ready for d4. Any uh, other move, yeah, I'm not sure, but d4, me. I got you covered, man. <laughs> and Wesley goes e4, sacking the pawn on d5. He might be trying to rip White's position apart here with a move e3 or bishop c5, and then e3. This is looking grim for white. Oh, OK. So Can you trap bishop the queen? d3. There's also e3. Ooh. And you've got to watch the queen on d5. A move like rook d8, I guess white now has the f3 square for the queen. No, so, but e2, bishop you know, what's, f2. What's crazy is like, yeah, e2, bishop f2, but there's also like rook d8 and rook d1 e2 there's there's some really nasty stuff oh that might rook d1 you called it i think rook d1 he goes rook, rook d2 wait a second now you can play knight takes c5 oh my god i think you could have still played rook d1 there even with the queen and rook covering it on that last move rook c1 is an excellent defensive move though and somehow wesley's rook as dangerous as it appears if you go rook f2 white's queen could seek refuge either on a8 or on g4 it's not over yet wow Rook what c1 a position 
And Nihal centralizing queen d5. If you go rook d7, there's knight takes c5 ideas, and you might walk, walk into a fork. One minute now for Wesley. Crazy. He's surviving this. Like, I still think black's better, of course, but he's, oh, of he's course. really surviving. He can get Wesley to 30 seconds, though. Then he'll start getting nervous. Yep. This is a critical moment. Can Wesley find a way to get the situation under control? Maybe, well, E2, you take on C5, so... I'm not seeing anything off the top of my head. Right. There's no Maybe like, Rook D2. absolute crush. Rook D2 is kind of cute, but it's a repetition, right? Technically. The queen goes back to F3. Yeah. So I don't think he'll be unhappy with four seconds to you know, have an easy nope. move like that. Bishop C4. Oh, the bishop's migrating to D5. This is going to be brutal. Uh, and he didn't see the idea because Bishop D5 is yep. crushing. Yeah. And I mean, defending that with two seconds.